You need your own website. And I'm not talking about Facebook or LinkedIn. I mean, your own domain that you own. What better place to get started than with a free template and free hosting? I'm going to show you how to download a website template, make some modifications to it, and host it on GitHub, and then actually have the page hosted on GitHub pages for free. And then if you want to route a custom domain, just click that link up there. I'll show you how to do it. So I'm going to navigate to HTML5up.net because they have some really pretty looking templates here. So check these out. A lot of these are, they seem really good for personal websites. And what's nice is that you can, you know, click in here and demo it real quick. So you can kind of see what this template looks like. Of course, you'll customize all the content in here, but you can kind of get a, an idea. You know, this one actually has different pages to it. A good idea what it looks like. And then you can just easily download it. Let's check out another one. So this is pretty nice looking. Let's go ahead and download this one. So let's go ahead and download it. I'm gonna hit the download button. Okay, we've got our project here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and unzip that. So let's extract all. And then now we're in here. Um, and now, you know, this is just a uh, static web page. So I can actually just open up this index.html and, you know, check it out. So open up with Chrome or Edge. I already have Edge open, so go ahead and do this. And then here we go. This is the site, but we have, we now have it on our computer. So the best way to customize this is to really open this up in VS Code and also have a Git repository so that we can check any changes that we make to our website. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to open with code. If you don't already have VS Code, go ahead and download it. You can use it for uh, lots of different applications. Okay, so we have it open in VS Code. And, you know, don't be too intimidated by the actual code itself. Um, you can come in here and make some, make some edits and, you know, get a little custom to HTML in the process. But what we're going to do is you're going to want to make sure that you already have Git installed on your computer. Just Google Git and download it. And then you should be able to initialize a Git repository here. So let's go ahead and initialize a repository. And we want to commit all of these changes. We can say, you know, initial commit. When we add pages or content uh, to our website, we can make commits to our repository so that we can see, you know, version control of everything that we've done to the website. So I want to publish this to my GitHub and I haven't already created a remote repository, so I can do that with my GitHub plugin here. So I'm going to make this a public repository because it needs to be public for me to actually host the website on GitHub pages. So we're going to publish this. Okay, so now we can go right to GitHub. So I'm already in GitHub right here. Let me just go check out my uh, repositories. And you can see that I've uh, created this repository here. Okay, so now we want to make this site live on GitHub pages. What we can do is come to pages. And we're going to say we want to deploy this from a branch. So we're going to use our main branch check this out. See main branch right here. This is the branch that we're on. We've made one commit, initial commit. And then, so we're going to go deploy from branch and then we're going to select main. And then we're just going to select the root and then we'll hit save. So now it says your GitHub pages site is currently being built from the main branch. Let's just give that a second. Okay, now it says your site is live. So let's check that out. Go ahead and hit visit site. And here we go. Here is our own website now. Of course, we didn't really make any customizations to it, but you kind of see how that works where we can you know, download a free template, uh, make some customizations, and that's, that's all there really is to it. Now we, we're hosting it for free. So really it's that simple. We just downloaded a template and we hosted it on GitHub for free. And then now you can make changes and make commits to your Git repository so that you can track everything that you've changed. 
And then as you make those changes in your local uh, IDE like VS Code and you push it to your master branch, it's just automatically going to update your website on the GitHub pages. That's the beauty of having the Git repository. And if you want to route a custom domain, check out the link above. I'll show you how to route your own domain that you purchased from a DNS provider. And you can route that to this GitHub page. If you like this video, please smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in the next video.